Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Chapter 728 review. Now, okay, yeah, son, Senior Pink, dude, who are you? Like, what's this dude about? Senior Pink, this motherfucker, back in the day, rocking the binky, has a katana on his back, I think a long sword too. Then he has this t shirt that says, Let's Baby. Like, like what? A And then we have the OG, looking like Catman, looking like Black Panther, just 80 years old and Asian. Dude, what? What's happening? Like, and the others, like, we don't know who they are. Like that one girl who always, like, eats the candy we have, or the, uh, the fruits, we have no idea who she is. Um, the others, I forgot their name. All well, I remember is Lao G and Senior Pink, and of course, um, Jola, or Dora. And we see her, back in the day, straight, long-necked. And it, you know what? It kind of reminds me of what happened with uh, what's her name in uh in uh in Water Seven. Uh, Kokoro Basan. Yeah, Kokoro Basan. And how if you look at the before and after pictures, Kokoro Basan now, it's like her neck kind of like disappeared. But when you look at the past in the in, in the flashback that Frankie had, she had a long neck, and it's the same thing here. Where it's like, we have Joa, or Jola. She, now, her neck is like gone. But back in the day, she was rocking the long neck. So, I have no idea what it is. I mean, I guess maybe, I mean, I, I can't say middle-aged One Piece women. But I don't know, like, it, that's the way it appears to be with some of the women in One Piece. The middle-aged ones. Like, they just, like, they have like, these real long necks. Like, straight giraffe status. It's weird. But whatever. Uh, funny, but weird. Now, in the chapter, there were, I mean, because, it's again, it's a scanlation, but there was, I remember, a problem with the wording, where in which we had a scene where Robin is asking a toy soldier, and she basically says, so some of the toys do not remember who they are, and then the toy soldier says, exactly, then he says, when one is turned into a toy, they remember their hatred for Don Flamingo. So I'm thinking, wait, that's a direct contradiction. Either they don't remember or they do remember. Which one is it? Um, so I don't know, but basically, there's something going on with the trend with with the wording of that sentence of that phrase, to my recollection. Because again, I don't have it in front of me, so like this is all from memory. And I remember that there was an issue with the wording, or at least I had trouble uh, comprehending, that, comprehending that at first. But basically, what the gist of it is, is that after we have the toy soldier talk about the flashback, and he talks about Viola, and uh, or Viola, and, oh no, Viola, and how she had the ability back then, the Giro Giro no Mi, and she had that clairvoyance ability where she can see for like 4,000 kilometers. And apparently Flamingo was so intrigued by that, that when she, Viola, begged him to not kill her father, the king, King Riku, he said fine, and he didn't. So that means that King, that means that Viola, Violet, is the daughter of King Riku, which also means that she is the sister of the toy soldier. And... The woman who the toy soldier saved, which was Rebecca's mother, is in fact probably his wife. Meaning that Rebecca is her, yeah, like, I think, yeah, I, I think that he even said that Rebecca is, um, his child. But I forgot if that's actually the case or not. I, if I'm wrong, then correct me in the, if you can, in the comment section down below. Because we all know what, you know, Google Plus, Google bullshit's doing right now. Like, it's, it's stupid. I still can't comment on some PMs. I mean, I still can't comment on some... I still can't respond to some comments in my videos, which is... Like, I don't know why. Like, some comments I can, some I can't. It's, it's, it's fucking weird. I, I don't know how it's set up like that. It just, it just Maybe those people don't have Google Plus accounts, so I can't comment to them. Or I can't respond to their comments. I don't know. It's just stupid. And it's ridiculous. Um, But let me continue. We see Pika. And I was pleased, because when we see Pika, he is 
Bill. I mean, th th this dude is straight up burly. Yeah, he's jacked. And he has leg muscles. I'm like, finally. Finally. Someone who has fucking leg muscles. Someone who has legs. <laughs> like seriously, and and the thing about here is that like, they're well toned and defined. They're not like like a big dude with legs. Not like you know Kuma. Not like Elizabeth Bauer. Like no, like these twig motherfuckers. It makes no sense. It makes no damn sense. Pika actually has defined, well toned leg muscles. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Oda. But either way, we see them back in the day. We see Trable. We see Diamante. And basically. You know, of course, Flamingo, he sh he's, he's holding up King Rico by the neck in front of this crowd in this city in Dressrosa. And, you, and he basically tells Diamante, Pika, and, and uh, Trayvon to take care of the rest. So, from then on, we know what actually occurs by another flashback that the Toy Soldier had. And apparently, okay, after this is all said and done, we have one of the dwarves. I think his name is Wika. No, or maybe that's another one. Well, either way, we have one of the dwarves, right? The one with the sewing power. He is, you know, preaching to the choir. He is having the speech, and he is talking about the incident this morning we can take as a declaration of war. Usopp's like, what are you talking about? Like, what Like what declaration? What, what incident? And then we have the toy soldiers say, oh, yeah. Like, Flamingo, he was temporarily kicked off the throne, or, or he was temporarily booted from his position as a Chichibukai, and he was going to leave the country. But when they found out that that was, uh, you know, when that was taken aback, when his when his position as king was reinstated by the world government, because, you know, like, CP0 came in there, they spoke, and blah, blah, blah. Apparently... The quote unquote dwarves and those who were against Flamingo, they were on cloud nine. They were in heaven. And when they found that shit out, they were just pulled back down into the turn of hell. Like, yeah. And so basically, their spirits just crashed. Because they were so thankful, so grateful that this tyrant, Flamingo, was kicked off the throne and no false alarm, false alarm. So. When they find that shit out, even Robin has a shock face. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, Robin? That's rare. That's really rare. When even she's like, like straight up. And, and the Usopp and Frankie, them too. Because they feel really, really bad. Because now they know what's going on with the dwarves and, you know, the toys. And they just feel terrible because it's like, fuck. Like, Flamingo did all this to trick the Straw Hat and Law Alliance. He did all this to trick those fuckers. And the end result is the dwarves and the toy soldiers saying, fuck it. You know what? We're sick and tired of this shit. We were tricked. We were duped. We're going to go to war. So, I, so it's just, it's very amusing how this all panned out. Where for the sake of taking out quote-unquote Kaido, and by tricking Flamingo, by holding Caesar Clown hostage, Flamingo does all of this to trick them. But there's a backlash, and the backlash is the dwarf saying, you know, fuck this shit. We're going to war. We're, we're sick and tired of dealing with this motherfucker. All right? So that was funny. And aside from that, in the chapter, oh, and by the way, we also see Monet in the past, too. You know, same old evil bitch, but still awesome. Now... When it comes to... Oh, and we find out that Tank and the others, they actually willingly went over to Flamingo's side. But probably because of the fact that, again, Tank, he probably wanted to like, protect Viola because he knew that she was a princess, obviously. So, okay, but that's a flashback. Now, we see real-time moments, and there's only two. Well, aside from the actual, you know, speech from the, like, from, like, from, like, the sewing dwarf and, you know, aside from the actual toy soldier stuff, there's two other real-time moments. Number one is Xin Zhao talking to King Riku. And this is kind of weird. This one threw me off because we have King Riku talking to Xin Zhao, right? Xin Zhao, or King Riku says, so you are still leading your ships at this age. And then Xin Zhao says, yeah, it's unfortunate. I wish I had grandchildren 
so they can take over the Hapo Navy. And I'm thinking here, I'm like, wait a second. Sai's your grandkid. Sai and Bo are your grandchildren. Sai is the 13th commander of the Hapo Navy. And you know that. But now you talk as if you don't know that. You have grandchildren. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, how do you forget that shit? And then I remembered how when the toy soldier he was talking, he was talking, one of the main things he was talking about, about how, you know, like they were going to use the toys as an army so they could usurp the, because, uh, you know, Flamingo, even though he has casted aside those who went against him, those people, those toys could also be used as allies in this war against Flamingo. Mainly the toys, because the toys, they remember, but then they kind of don't remember, because Robin, again, the, it was a whole weird translation um, error, I believe, when it came to Scanlation. But there is some kind of memory lossage here in this country. That's very obvious. Like, I mean, how does a wife forget about her, her husband completely to the point where she doesn't even remember her ever being married? How does Rebecca forget about her own father? Or, you know, like, stuff like that. How does, you know, like, like, how does one toy in the middle of the street of Dress Rosa, and when, uh, or I think it, either the port city or something like that, start to yell, wait, you're my husband, I mean, you're my girlfriend, you're my girlfriend. And then that girl saying, I don't know who you are, like, leave me alone. How does that happen? There's some kind of memory alter, but yeah, like, there's some kind of memory altering being done here. And then... Chin Zhao not knowing who his grandkids was is, is I don't know but I'm thinking more devil fruit powers here going on because that's just unusual Chin Zhao should know full well that he is a grandchild Sai and that Sai he even scolded him he said Sai you need more training and he even said like you know like well, like cause and well all I'm saying basically is that there's something going on here when it comes to the memory there's some kind of memory manipulation going on here. And it's probably because of a Duffer user. It may be someone as, you know, powerful as Pika or fucking Senior Pink, man. I got an eye on him, man. All right. And the last scene, very simple. Luffy meets up with Kinemon, and apparently Bartolomeo, he passed out on the way there. And then in comes, Mel in comes Bellamy from the back. In comes Bellamy from the back. There we go. So, okay, my, ch my chaptering overall, the chapter I thought was okay. I thought it was an okay chapter, I really did. It was mainly flashback, that's true, but it does clear up a lot of things. It clears up the whole Viola-Violet thing, where Violet is, in fact, Viola, and that was pretty obvious. But I did call that. I did call that. There's something going on here with the memory, and I'm not too sure what it is here exactly. So that wasn't cleared up, but it is more... It's put... It, it has a bigger spotlight now. Let me put it like that. Because they talked about it a few times here and there. But now it's like definitely obvious that there's something going on. Because even Ching Jiao is starting to forget. Like, wait, like you have grandkids. You know that. But now we do know that the toys and the dwarves are going to start to merge. So you, the toy soldiers are going to bring in more toys. And apparently the toys... I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume that the toys or people, when, when, when they are turned into toys, they remember... Who they are, and they remember their hatred for Flamingo or that kind of stuff. I mean, but then again, when you think about what happened in the past, wouldn't the toys like Flamingo? No, wait, no, because most of the toys are probably soldiers, like I said before. Because we have the toy soldiers speaking to Frankie about how most of the, how some soldiers were killed and some of them defected, but the majority of soldiers. We're turning to toys. He was saying something along those lines. So I was also right about that. So, huh. Fascinating. All right. But let me leave it at that for now. Because I'm going to make a lot of the, like deductions and things like that for a live stream that I have planned uh, next week. I'm, I, I plan doing a One Piece live stream at some point. So, next week. But I'll leave it at that. So, King Lightning. The chapter overall is okay. And I 
I still can't fathom why Chin Zhao can't cut this fucking guy in the air with his damn head. Again, people said, well, it's Earth. This motherfucker can split the Earth. This dude broke it a sheet of ice stronger than conventional ice that was the size of an arctic continent with one goddamn headbutt he uh, and you can't and you tell me he can't shatter or cut through damn earth fuck that again i'm, I'm going to assume that he you know, i'm going to assume that because back in that back in those days he was in his prime right he could tussle with garp but now he's old and He's, he's salty. He just <laughs> he just got his ass whipped against Luffy. So yada yada yada. But then when you when you think about how Sai's grandchild, you he would've been pissed. he have been like fucking. But whatever. Uh, okay, but now I'm done. Kill lightning rating overall. Okay, peace. Have a nice day. Oh wait, and one more thing. Um, I did say that I realized, but I, but I was wrong about this. I did say that of uh, uh, that Violet's powers, the oldest powers. Were that she can see through the eyes of birds? No, I was wrong about that. With her clairvoyance, with, with, with her uh, clairvoyance, her Sen Ringon, she can like make this mental image of a bird, and like it flies around, and it like sees for like thousands of kilometers, which is again insane. Okay, but now I'm done. Can lightning rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. Am I done? Am I done? Am I done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done.